spend a life-changing week at the castle in Germany. I drank champagne with kings and queens, the politicians praised my name. Those were someone else's dreams, the pitfalls of the man I became. For years and years, I chased their cheers, a crazy speed of always needing more. But when I stop and see you here, I remember. Uh, I was dragged here by my wife. She, uh, <laughs> she was here a year before me. I love the magic that happens when you walk up to the front doors of the castle and you see a whole new world uh, and you can really experiment and do so many things that I think you wouldn't do in your daily life. And the people, the people are what make in the... You won't find anything like this uh, in, in the world. Bavaria in, in the area of Spessart at uh, Rienek. Yeah, it's a really beautiful castle in, in the middle of nowhere and... <laughs> it's amazing being somewhere in a completely different bubble of reality. You are for 10 days, you are doing something you would never do in your real life. You can leave your real life completely behind. In one moment you're painting, in another moment you're on stage, in the third moment you're preparing a dance performance for the following day. It was a fantastic opportunity to meet people, like-minded people, from all around the world that share the same compassion and energy. It's open to everyone. Uh, it gives us something amazing, something that's very different from a normal world, sort of to say. If you want a week of the best time of your life, music, art, acting and workshops of things you might have never seen in your life, with scouting and guiding friends, Imme is the place to be. Yeah, so we as the team uh, take uh, quite some time to decide on a theme because we want every image to have a certain uh, frame and a certain um, thematic direction. We create a, a different, you could say a, a different world here at, at Rene Castle. So we are having a theme, the living library. So we are in a story, uh, us as well, the participants need to bring a costume as well. And we enter a story where characters of books come alive somehow, but it's, it's a story not entirely fiction, it's how fiction meets reality in a, in a sketch, in a sketch that goes for a week. A 
at the beginning of Ember you, you choose uh, one workshop you want to participate in. Cards making or this year we have also uh, a clowns workshop or um, we have an Arduino programming workshop. Um, we have totally different kinds of workshops and you do bigger or smaller projects in it and yeah, present it at the end of this week um, to all the other participants what you have achieved in that. workshop is a good way of getting to know people in a smaller group, though you will cooperate with new people anyway. In the first days we will have a program where you will learn to know other people. So even though first when you come to the castle and it seems everyone knows each other, it seems overwhelming, that feeling will go away in the two first days, I think. I would not call it learning, I would call it more um, trying out and experiencing. I think with all the workshops especially, it's also a place and time where you can do things that you've never done before, that can be simply weaving. Um, and you take your time every day in the morning and to sit down and do something that you probably would not take time for when you're at home. And for the international evening was a fantastic opportunity to see not only what each different representative from each different country could have had to offer in terms of each country's culture. <laughs> Where? On Raglan Road. When? On an autumn day. Or when? <laughs> on the 4th of July, 1806, where we set sail from the sweet cove of Cork. Right, that's the first part. You have a win and a win. But each individual country's kind of scouting values and how they interpret what scouting means to them in their country was really interesting. And then there is Creative Evening, where you see all the creativity that happens in Inve, and you realize that all these amazing people are also really, really talented. Yes, uh, IGs are interest groups, which basically describes exactly what we do. So we have a group uh, where someone who is interested in something can share that either by teaching or asking to learn it from other people. So for example, we've had an interest uh, group that was called Music for Dummies or Beginners, where people who are not aware of music or haven't learned it professionally learn it from someone else or an interest group on uh, how to bead your own necklace or how to cut glass or anything that interests anyone uh, can be done within this time. My favorite program point is a big game. Big game. Um, it's mostly at the end of the week. The whole uh, program is um, integrated or framed by a storyline. Mm -hmm. So there's a kind of climax over the week, and the big game is normally the point where the climax, the whole storyline, is getting or coming together. And uh, big game is basically that the participants are 
parted into a little group, like six to eight players. Mm -hmm. And there's also a storyline about a game. I mean, this is how we end in the burn down everything. Who needs a castle? It's pretty drastic. Yeah. <laughs> I know. And then you hit the start button and then 100 persons running around the castle like mad because they want to win the game. Okay, here, as you see, the room is full of smoke. I can see, actually. Yes, that's how it is, if the room is full of smoke. And this is, for me, always absolutely great because this is such a purge again in, in energy mm -hmm. at the end of the week and everyone is absolutely crazy about these games and, and, and running around and playing out and acting and having fun and going completely wild, this is just great to see how, how easily the people are just, yeah, let themselves go and really feel into the flow of the whole energy there. And this is why I like this program very, very much. I mean, this is art. Art has to be drastic. Art has to be painful. I would have to go with uh, be prepared. So it's the time where we have a campfire and we are around the campfire and I feel like a scout. Mm -hmm. We wear our mm -hmm. uniforms, we sing our songs, there is a fire there. Um, and I really feel that we are a family. So all these people from around the world doing the same thing that we would do. Uh, it feels, feels like scouting is working, is proof that it's working. So this always is a point where I really enjoy and I really believe in it. My favorite program point on Imbe would be the concert. So I, I was pretty nervous, so I drank an entire bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> if something happens, well, just ignore it. <laughs> it's a really magical moment. Uh, uh, it's, well, at the end of the week. Uh, and uh, we have here at the castle, we have this very beautiful little chapel where, um, where we try to squeeze in all the people. It's a great opportunity where people show their talents. Now I've seen the day, oh my chill has now lost its way. These hands that want and help. They are living all that is made. And the great thing is that uh, you don't have to be professional to, perf to perform. And this is what I like uh, about Imve a lot. Um, for example, I'm not a good singer. You might even say I'm a bad singer. But there are people uh, here who are more musical and they invite others to join them. So I joined the choir practice and it was great feeling to sing together and we're gonna perform in a concert and if I was alone I would never dream of going up to the stage and singing but here there's always someone who will help you, who will um, support you uh, and then you can even do things that normally you wouldn't do like perform on a concert. Politicians praised my name But those were someone else's dreams The pitfalls of the man I became For years and Love. years Love Creativity Colorful Fun and happiness Togetherness Dedication <laughs> Friendship 
<laughs> Surprise. Scouting. Curiosity. Fantastic.